System Reset Complete. Hi, Elliot here. This is System Test 7 of my Shed's Fire Alarm System. In relation to what has changed since the last system test, I have now got a combined optical smoke and heat detector and I have changed the tone on my Banshee sounder to slow whoop. I shall start the system test with the pull station over in the corner. I shall first test the pull station and here goes. I shall now unmute the sounder and I shall mute the panel buzzer as well. I do that by a switch that I put into the panel a while ago. It simply is just connected to the buzzer inside. Anyway, I shall now reset the pull station. And I shall now reset the panel. I am next going to test my heat detector, but the switch that I was talking about is that switch right there. Simply, when I flick it down, it mutes the buzzer inside the panel. Anyway, I shall now test my ESP heat detector. And once again, I shall mute the panel. And I shall just let that detector cool down. And I shall now reset the system. I am now going to test the heat detector component of the combined optical smoke and heat detector. And once again, I shall wait for it to cool down and then I will reset the panel. And lastly, I shall test the smoke detector component of the combined heat and smoke detector. And to do so, I shall use a bunch of incense sticks. And here goes for testing the smoke detection part of the combined optical smoke and heat detector. And I shall first mute the sounder. And then once the smoke is cleared, I shall reset the system. And that concludes System Test 7 of my Shed's Fire Alarm System. Before I sign off, I will just say this switch is a switch that I can manually disable the main sounder in case I'm not in the shed. However, in reality, I only use a panel for system tests. So, until next time, I'm going to say thanks for watching and goodbye.